We've got a Sanyo M1540A. The Sanyo M1540 is the very one that Commodore used in the first PET 2001 computers in 1977. Here are the two recorders side by side. You can see Commodore covered up the Sanyo logo here. From this angle you can see this is just a sticker. But you can still see remnants of the Sanyo logo right there on the back side of that sticker. From this angle you can see that Commodore removed the audio jacks on the side, the volume control, and the carry handle. Commodore put their serial number sticker here. Sanyo has the serial number sticker on the inside here. You see the internal differences here. Commodore replaced the Sanyo circuit board with their own. It had no need for battery connections. The positive end of the battery terminals are there, but the spring ends have been removed when it was cut. The speaker was removed, of course, but not the microphone. This is right here is actually the microphone wire that was just cut off. And here you can see the Sanyo serial number sticker still on the transport assembly. The capstan flywheel assembly here is definitely different. Uh, this could just be a change that was done at some point in the model's history. Power switch here is the same, but this is a little odd where the speaker screw is on the Sanyo model. Here they screwed down a terminal. This terminal here just has the wires coming from the computer to power the motor so the computer can turn the motor on and off. Here you can see the assembly number of the Sanyo circuit board and the Commodore circuit board number here. The date code on the motor here in the Commodore unit says 761127. I can't see the whole date code on the motor in this one, but it says starts with 77, which means this one was made later. So that's it for the side-by-side -side comparison between the data set that Commodore used in the PET 2001 computers in October and November of 1977 and the commercial version, the Sanyo M1540A. One other little thing about this uh, Sanyo drive that's different in the way it's mounted inside the computer. You'll notice that this doesn't have a mounting bracket up here in the front. There's a a little lip here where the uh, carry handle recesses and it just slides up underneath this lip that is uh, looks like it's spot welded on the case there and then there's just two screws in the back Back side of this pushes the whole thing forward so it won't come out of there. One of the little annoyance is that the cable is just way too short to, uh, to reach with the hood open. And even the monitor cable is a bit tight and pops off if you open it any further than the kickstand. And you'll see that the battery cover is installed there. This is the way I received it when I purchased it. I don't know if they all ship with the battery cover on there or if just this one. And here you should be able to see that the battery cover just barely clears that heat sink.